What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of me turning off my oxygen. Oh no, that's why my water. Never mind. Sorry, my bad. I hit the wrong thing. So welcome on back to the that's how you start an episode right there. That's how you start an episode right there. Just be like, water shortage enforced by the man. So anyways, welcome on back to Planet Base. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a bit and continue to develop our colony. Kind of just waiting on some of our production to get done at the moment. We have a whole lot of fabs working over here, but it takes a while for things to get done. Now, obviously, a lot of our bots, unfortunately, are not able to carry things around. But since we're producing parts and we're producing stuff, I assume that at least it's a little bit safe for us to start working on other things. And so I think the next thing that we really, really need is I think we need a landing pad. If we can land a landing pad here, I mean, what else do we have? We have a water tank. That's like one of the few. Oh, we have an anti-meteor laser? Dude! Okay. The landing pad brings like a plethora of other issues though because now criminals are going to start moving into our base. And we'll have to defeat them. These things over here, so that's external. Interior-wise, what do we have? We could have a storage facility, which would probably be helpful at some point. Since all of our fabs and whatnot are over on this side, the storage facility would probably be best served as part of the chain either there or like right here. So yeah, let's put it right there. That'll be all right. And then we'll link this on up with right there. Fantastic. Can you link those? No. Can I link that? Nope. This time around, we've got 10,000 power. I'm going to keep an eye on the grid, and we're going to sort of watch the drain and the strain and see how this whole thing lasts with my brain doing a little bit of arithmetic. The strain on our... So we're using up 28, and we're producing 37. And so this should drop off pretty quickly once the sun goes down. We'll want to keep an eye on it just to make sure that it's functioning in the way that we need it to. Our food supply, looking great. We got like more vegetables and things than we even remotely know what to do with here. So all of these are stocked up. They're ready to give more meals when necessary. Is that still disabled or is that enabled? Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to wake you up early. Feel free to be angry at me. That was my bad. It's like somebody came into the room with a bullhorn and was just like, Is this working right now? Hey, all you sleeping people, is this sleeping room working? Are you guys asleep? It's like when your girlfriend wakes you up at like 5 in the morning, like, hey, are you asleep? I was. Yes, I, I was asleep. I was indeed. Oh, that drives me so crazy when people do that shit. When you were like a kid and your friend would stay over at your house, you'd be like, hey, are you asleep yet? You'd be like, no. You know, you ever notice how everybody always says no right there because it wakes you up? It's actually an answer for which you could never answer yes. It's a very safe question for confirmation bias because you're always going to get a no out of that question. Like, are you sleeping? Mostly, I think people test that just to see if you don't say anything, because I suppose not saying anything would be the same as a confirmation. But you get what I mean. I like our base a lot. I think it looks sexy on this side. I wish these LEDs were green, though. I don't like red LEDs. They seem threatening to me. It seems like it's an evil base populated by the Sith. A green one over here would be sort of neutral, and then if it was blue, you know we'd be the good guys. Storage has been built, so welcome to the store age. I'm sure this is probably going to eat up all kinds of time for my random people as they try to go to and fro moving things from this big outside pile. Going out to the pile! Bring things in from the pile! God, all worship the great and mighty pile from which we gain our sustenance, from which we survive and thrive. So does anything go into these, or is it just like a biologist hanging out over here and... When they hang out over here, like, good things happen. I really feel like we're producing too much food right now. I feel like we're producing, like, a stupidy doopity amount of food. But I guess that's what a storage bay is for? It says that it's 15% full right now, but there's nothing inside of it. Maybe it counts all of these things around the outside. I've never seen a base with so many weird sphere things. I gotta get somebody to explain what these all do. Like, these random little containers and things that are outside. I assume that they're either, like, oxygen canisters or, like, they help flow the oxygen throughout without, like, relying on it just passing in between doorways and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm not educated about space and things that happen in space, so I couldn't tell you. We are pretty much out of resources right now, so I'm thinking another material fab. We should also probably get a spaceport in so that we can accept new colonists. Might be a good call so that we can always have somebody manning some of this stuff and... So that we can expand this out on the slightly. Is he repairing or like what is he doing? So are the workers moving things right now? What are the workers doing? Are they all sleeping at the moment? Is that why nothing's happening? So Sung is sleeping. How many extra... So how many of these like raw materials do we have sitting around? We got three of those. We got three ores. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out like what I can automate and what things I can like ignore and what things are working, what things aren't. Metal processor. I need to get like some upgrades or something for it. Make it go a little bit faster because right now we are eating through stuff. I think that the throughput is probably going to be solved by getting us a spaceport though. And so I may accelerate my decision making by getting us a landing pad. 
Which will, of course, you know, sort of... Wait, so what does this need to be connected to? I mean, I assume it needs to be on our grid somewhere. I'd actually place it, like, right there if I wasn't so nervous people were going to crash stuff into it. That seems all right. We'll use that, like, the out front parking right there. That'll be dope. And then we'll connect it to there. I think it probably just needs to be connected for power and water. It doesn't actually, quote-unquote, connect with one of these little tunnel ways like everything else does. I feel like we're looking pretty good right now. I definitely could use some more people working on the factory stuff, though. Definitely. I also wish I could pitch the camera a little bit more. Like, I wish the camera... Can I pitch it? No. I wish I could kind of aim it downwards a little bit more, because the viewpoint... I find myself having to get a long ways away to get, like, a full view of things. So, like, you can rotate side by side, but I want to rotate up and down, too. I know that it's, like, a little thing, but maybe it's just a pet peeve for me. It's not something that I would, like, mark the game down on a review for. Like, I wouldn't give it less points, because it's a personal thing. Like, it's just a thing that I like to have. That's going to use up a bunch of our metal when we get this done, but I think that's going to be, like, the last little grip that we have anyways. And so, in that case, the best next thing we could probably do is create another metal processor in here. Do I have to build a plane or anything like that? I mean, if we have to build a plane, then that might... Or we have to build, like, a spacecraft or anything of that nature. It might get a little bit more rowdy. So, we've got landing missions. This wasn't covered in the tutorial. So, the landing permissions panel allows us to control what ships are allowed to land inside of your base. So, we can say colonists, so that we only get colonists. Traders, so that we can get trading ships. And then specializations can control what kind of new colonists you'll be accepting in the base. You can select the desired total percentages for each specialization. And the right colonists will be allowed to try and match. Okay, so that seems all right. You can also, if you were looking for like a makeshift way to pause the game while you did other stuff, you can open the menu right here. And then while you're trying to look through menus and whatnot, you can go into the help. But at the same time, while the help is open, you can also go into all the other menus and time won't flow. So if you were looking for, I guess, like an ad hoc pause. or Actually, that's not what I'm looking for. If you were looking for a makeshift pause. There we go. Ad hoc is not what I was looking for. If you're looking for an ad hoc, if you're looking for a makeshift pause, you can do it that way. And so I figured that out along the way. So I assume a later, sooner or later, they'll add a pause. Or maybe I could do it by pressing pause on the keyboard. I don't really know. I've just been slowing content down. So we need to get to our landing permissions for right now. And while we set these up, I would rather not... Oop, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Show the tops, go there. And then I also need base management, landing permissions. Oh, it unpauses you. Okay. So actually, that seems all right to me. I'm not going to bring in... Actually, yeah, bring in a trader because we got lots of extra vegetables or whatever else. And if we bring in a trader, I would love to trade off some of our ridiculous quantities of vegetables in exchange for some of the other little things that we could use around. So if we can get workers, we need workers really badly because our fabs are just kind of like sitting here doing nothing at the moment. And that might largely be due to the fact that at the moment we're kind of just like ferrying stuff in and out of the base i think that that's the problem as i built the storage and so now oh, we got people here so let's see what happens that ship is way cooler than the ship we came in on oh it's a trading ship so i can click on it he's got trader stock and so i can give him like some veggies and it looks like coins wait how do i only have one meal oh because those are inside of machines gotcha so this is only going to be stuff from our storage i was sort of hoping that he might have some metal in his supply. But I assume that since he came in pretty quick, we might end up with... So the value... Oh, he takes a 50% commission? Really? Okay, well, I'll take some credits for it. I mean, nothing else in here really seems super fabtabulous to me. So we'll go ahead and trade it. And so that'll be the remainder of our vegetable stock right there. That'll get some of it off the ground. I assume that somebody has to go out here and load the plane, so I guess we'll watch for that to happen too. I call it a plane because it looks like a plane. I know it's a spacecraft, and I realize people are going to try and correct me, and they're going to be upset about my terminology. But it is what it is, Chummer. It is what it is. Was it just nighttime or something? I was going to say, why is our power grid looking so stressed at the moment? There we go. Let's get you on that fab. Let's get you on that fab, and then prioritize here. So let's make sure... Then among all other things that we are just fabricating, like, we got nothing else to do today. So we'll prioritize work in the fab. That'll help us start to mash out some metal. He's bringing in a bit more minerals from that side. We only got three minerals, though, so honestly, we can only produce so many bits and pieces here. We've got more than enough of that right there. We still... Oh, we got plenty of plastics, though, so I'll probably disable you for right now so that workers only go after this. 
And so there it is. Now we've locked in on the way that we want to produce a whole bunch of metal. I feel like this Let's Play is a little bit blundery, and I apologize. Like, if you want to see a real Let's Play of people that, like, know what the hell they're doing, you should probably go watch Quill's channel or, you know, somebody like that. What does expansion do? You managed to get new colonists to arrive at your base. I like how it takes a screenshot of your actual base, too. Like, it doesn't take, like, some random generic screenshot that they preloaded into the game. It's your base and all the little cutscene things. I like that a lot. It's a big deal to me. It seems like a minor thing, but we got people coming out right now. So what do we have? Colony ship. What did you bring me? What did you bring me, sir? Ah, he's breaking down again. Carrier bot looking all messy. I didn't see anybody get off, but I assume that somebody got off. Let's go ahead and do I have a personnel list here anywhere? Sorry about that. I didn't know what I was talking about. So I don't think anybody came off the colony ship. We started with eight, and I think we still have eight. I think the colonist thing is just a generic designation for, like, who they are, essentially. Because if you add these together, it gives them the rest of them. So I assume, anyways, that nobody came off that right there. I, I'm not entirely sure why nobody came off the colony ship, but you know what? My landing permissions look good, so I feel okay with everything. I mean... I don't know if maybe... Hmm... Yeah, I guess maybe empty colony ships can come out here. Maybe the first one or two are empty and there's nothing else you can do about that. How much metal have we produced so far? Good, we managed to produce two metal today. Well, that makes me happy. Are these loaded up for further metal production? Oh, we actually don't really. So if I prioritize that, does the priority designation fall off this one too? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, I mean, we only have three workers. So it's sort of a case where one guy goes here, two people work this fab. Once we get our metal caught up with our plastics, I'll probably start working on other stuff. But for the moment, I see no reason not to fast forward for a bit and just let the game do its thing. And then I'll just hang out and observe. Kind of a fantastic thing. I've really always sort of lamented the fact that I live in the time period that I do. I really sincerely, I wish that I lived in a time period where space travel was like a prioritized thing that people cared about. Look at the engineer over here doing his job like he's supposed to instead of letting the robot sit around for two days before he did his job. Good for you, man. Good for you. Pretty soon the medical supplies should be in here. This seems pretty dope. Like, how cool would it be to go to a different environment and be that guy, you know what I mean? Like, be one of those dudes that went somewhere else. So what is this, a trader ship or a colony ship? It's a colony ship. Oh, look, this one brought people. This one brought people. So it just dropped off. So how many colonists do I have now? It looks like it just dropped off a couple more workers and maybe a biologist. Let's have a look. Let's take a look at our designations here. So it dropped off two people and it was another worker and what I assume is another biologist because I saw green and I saw blue, which means now that if we have four workers, we can now turn this back on. And so let's go ahead and enable it. We'll get that thing rocking right there. I would love to build a few more robots to move supplies around as well. That would actually be really, really, really pimping. So it looks like we can actually have Cookie Collins? That guy has the coolest name ever. I mean, it's not as good as Coconut Collins, but Cookie Collins will work for right now. I accept Cookie Collins as perhaps another member of the Coconut Clan. And he's a worker too. How perfect is that? Cookie Collins likes to work in the mine. You give Cookie Collins a pick and I will swing it for you, for I am a team player. Unlike my friend Corner, he's kind of my cousin Corner. He's a little bit of a loner, but the rest of us, you see, the rest of us, we like to be team players and contribute to the rest of the overall society. Oh, God, I'm so glad that I got a reference here. And our other biologist name, Cal May, is not the new guy. Who's the new guy? Dart Doherty. So in his off time, I assume he must be a news anchor. That's the, with a name like that, you would have to be a news anchor. I do sort of wish that extra produced meals went into, like, meal storage or something. I don't know. I also wish that these could be put, like, flush with a wall or something. I don't know. I don't, it bothers me. Are you a trader? Okay, so we've got a trader coming. Wow, we've got a lot of ships that come through here. Like, this is a popular location to stop off at, I guess. What you got for me, buddy? I got vegetables. If you want vegetables, damn, son. I got vegetables coming out my ears. See, why are you bringing vegetables out here, dude? You are killing me at the moment. I don't need vegetables. What is that? A GM tomato DNA. Oh, really? Okay. Tomato, tomato, I guess. So I guess we can get a growth manu... I, the GM just means that it's a manufactured growth, essentially. It means that they grew it. It's artificially grown. And so... I assume that that maybe makes a buff tomato recipe. I'm not really sure. 
So the value of that is 10. I don't have a whole lot of extra things here right now. It looks like the value of what I have, though, is not diminished by the fact that... I mean, it doesn't seem like it matters that much. So if the value of what I have is not diminished, I'm just going to keep... Ooh, a 65% commission. Esteban can't. Esteban, you are hurting me right now, buddy. You are filling my body with pain, but I will take your 18 credits, I guess. Little trades. Little baby steps, everybody. Little baby steps. That is what this game is all about. We also may want to consider making another airlock pretty soon. Because this one is starting to look like it's developing quite the little line right here for people to use it. It's unfortunate that multiple people, like, it looks like it could fit maybe three or four people at the same time for the airlock. It's unfortunate that only one is available. So the next thing that I may do is I may put an airlock over here so that people that are ferrying materials from the outside can bring them back inside a little bit easier. I don't know. A lot of this game is going to be about optimization and making sure that, speaking of which, how did our power do last night? We drained one battery and halfway through a second. Okay. I would still like to expand our battery power a little bit further and make sure that we never have what happened in the last episode happen again. Because that was almost a really, really major malfunction for us. We can go all in on, I mean, the power collector right there. It only costs one. We could double the size and call it a twosie. I mean, how much how much metal do I have? I only have five, so keep it little then. Keep it small. So there it is. And then we'll connect this over to the fab right here. Connect that over right there. I know I said that I was going to try and keep our entire power grid over on this side. But I don't know. I'm going to be a little bit more freeform today because why not? I'm having a good time with the game. This is actually one of those games I don't want to put it down now. It sucks that I only get to record like five episodes today because I really just want to play it all day and just record nonstop. This is quite the entertaining title. So all the recommendations I received from other YouTubers were indeed correct. This game is pretty awesome. I'm enjoying myself. They are still pending resources on the two. Yeah, we're definitely going to need another airlock. We are 100% going to need another airlock. So I can put it here. If I could put it right here, that would be really fantastic, too. Or maybe just attach it to right here and then make an attachment right there, too. That'd work. What can I do with this? So if I got the exterior right here, or I think it actually counts as an interior. There we go. So with the airlock, it's going to cost me one and one. I could airlock up right there. I think an airlock is the end of the chain while we're discussing it. So I'm pretty sure the airlock is always considered to be the end of a chain. So you can't actually have it attached to multiple locations. I think they mentioned something about that in the tutorial. It's weird, however, that it won't attach the dormitory. Hmm. Not a big complaint for me, just like a, a weird little thing. Alright, well, we could put the airlock wherever. I mean, realistically, the airlock... I only need it to take pressure off suit and air... What is that? A colony ship? What did we get? What did we get? What did we get? Who did we get? Why did we get it? Let's find out. Out of the airship's butthole comes a medic and a biologist. I don't think we needed another biologist. I may actually try and tailor this a little bit more closely. So we've got another biologist. We've got another... I just got to make sure that... Yeah, let's build another airlock first. I don't want to get overwhelmed, like, focusing on one thing versus another thing. The second airlock can just be over there. I just need more airlocks, and that's pretty much it. And if I put an airlock over here, it essentially... It limits my continued development in opposite direction. I mean, I guess the other thing that I could do is I could put a random airlock out here and then build back into another area. But I'm going to build into this corner right here for a little while. And then we'll sort it out after that point, I think. We've got another battery over here. These are both at max capacity right now. Why is that one interesting? So that one's third in the chain. I wonder how it selects which battery is closer in the chain. Like which one goes up first and which one goes up second. ETC and all that fun stuff. I think we finally transferred everything that we needed from the outside into our storage. We're at 67%. I like how everything's stackable, too. How they could sit there and they can stack things. Like, some things take up, like, a full space. Some things take up, like, a half space. And then they can just move them around a little bit. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. And I should be able to sell off some of this extra starch, too. But we are just mass-producing food right now. Was that impact close? Where did that impact hit? It looks like it hit right over there. Damn, son. That was a close one. We should probably start fabricating things. But I really do feel like I don't have... Let me focus on workers for a little while. I'm going to jump into my priorities list here. And I would like... We don't need medics right now, I don't think. And we don't need guards either. 
I would say just to prioritize workers at the moment. Oh, we got a sandstorm imminent. So, sandstorms may do unfortunate things to people that are outside. Normally what you would do right here is if you have a security station, what would happen is if you, you got to disable the airlocks too. Let's go ahead and I'm going to recycle that real quick. I need everybody inside. So I have to do this a little bit artificially for right now. But basically, when he's out in a sandstorm, it's going to cause damage to everything that we have, I think. Haven't really had any experience with sandstorms just yet. But as I understand it from the tutorial where I saw it, you get a thing, it's called a security room. And inside of your security room, there's a thing called a yellow alert that you can activate, which disables all the airlocks for outgoing people. You can only come in. And so... Realistically, what I would prefer to do for right now is we're going to disable outside structures. That wasn't actually that bad. I expected that to be a lot worse. I mean, they're still having trouble seeing, but all right, reactivate. So anyway, sandstorms, I assume that they give you like some baseline chance of something being damaged and, you know. Yeah, so it looks like everything took a little bit of damage right there. Or at least certain objects. Anything that interacts with wind and or power looks like it took a little bit of damage. Which is going to force the engineer's hands into kind of working a little bit harder throughout the course of our day. I recycled the other airlock over here. I think that maybe I should go with the security room first. While we're waiting. And maybe get one or two guards. We can also get a relaxation point. Although is there anything in here that like matters for diversion or is that just for their morale? Okay. So we can build a bar room too. I mean I see no reason why we should not. So, I mean, we would have to produce beer, I guess, if we were going to make a bar room. And we're a little bit low on metal. We've got the ore loaded up. So we could really, 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 really use somebody working on these right here. But as far as that material fab goes, I think we're just waiting on new colonists for right now. So what I would consider doing is we're just going to speed the game up for a minute. And I think most things are in equilibrium right now. So who interacts with the meal maker? Interesting. So it looks like somebody has to interact with that right there. Not exactly sure who it is that interacts with that right there. I see a number of sleepy people as well. Let's go ahead and add ourselves another bed up in here. Or we can just go something like this. I think I'm going to treat this like a dead end for right now, too. And maybe just not develop out in that direction. Or if I do, I guess I could break some of the beds and then we can go in that direction. What just happened right here? Did we just take on more colonists? And I didn't even know. I'd like it if we got a little pop-up right here where it said new colonists have been added and it gave you a little list. That'd be kind of nice. Do we take new people? Okay, so we got 14. We got six workers. Four biologists, we now have two engineers, two medics. Okay, so let's go to our priorities list for right now. And on our landing permissions, we have six workers, which means that we should, pretty much around the clock, have enough people in the mine. And we should have enough people on the processors to keep producing things that we need. Because I think that we've run into a pretty considerable... Wait, does this guy have an injury? Oh, look at you, you're injured. So he's got a trauma injury. Does a medic just handle that, or do I need to have a medical bay? Let me pause this real quick. And while we wait, I'm going to look at my structures here. We need a sick bay. Okay. Well, let's do it. I mean, we're kind of, our hands are tied on this one. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a little sick bay here. Will the sick bay fit right there? Oh, I was hoping, but it didn't. Uh, let's go off in this direction with the sick bay. I mean, we could either go here, past the storage region. Actually, that might work because the sick bay is going to need. The sick bay, the sick bay is gonna need access to like random things such as medical supplies and whatever else. And in fact, yeah, let's just attach it to right there. That'll be okay. We got nothing else going on anyways, and then we'll connect that. And so we have two medics, so they should be able to stay on duty the entire time. I stayed on duty one time, but it seems like that's a good way to get yourself an infection or like some kind of bacterial thing going on. So I wouldn't recommend it. Let's go back to our prioritization, landing protocols. Let's try and get ourselves a guard, maybe. I would still like more workers. And I do think more engineers are going to be necessary at some point. So let's maybe fix that for right there. We've got enough medics right now to where I feel okay. I mean, if it wants to reset the defaults, 
I don't like how it automatically assigns the excess to another thing. It should like pool that and then you, as long as it adds up to 100%, that's a little bit weird. So go ahead and give me a guard instead because I'd like to start setting up for, you know, the future. This guy's wounded. Medical base should be up and running pretty soon. It's going to need to be built. Obviously, we got to get some people on that for right now. And while we wait to expand out, I think I'm only going to accept like one more colony ship. Let's get this trade done, and then I'm going to cut off everything after we get one more colony ship in. Just give me time, because with games like this, especially like this, Nomoria, other games where you take in immigrants and things like that, you want to be careful about the way that you, that you expand. You don't want to overdo it. This guy's bringing in the GM tomatoes again. It's Hiram McCall. Oh, look at that. We used up a spare right there. Okay, well, when the spares get lower, we're going to have to start manufacturing. But for right now, I've got bioplastics. I've got extra starches. I actually don't have a whole lot of anything, in all fairness. Our stockpile's a little bit empty right now. It's probably because we've got a bigger strain on everybody eating food or whatever else. It might be time to expand our little biodome, get ourselves a tad more food. I'm not going to sell it for right now. I'm going to dismiss the trader and just be like, yeah, I don't have anything for you right now. So how are these functioning? We've got three veggies coming out of there, veggies and starch coming out of there. We don't have much in storage, and so, yeah, I think for the first time ever, actually, because we've increased by almost double our size, I think they're eating faster than we're producing things. He's got an injury, so my hope would be as soon as that gets built up right there, let's go ahead and speed up the game real fast. Can he die of those injuries? I assume that he can. Like, over time, he's going to get worse and worse and worse if you don't treat it. We also needed the second airlock, but I think I'm going to be okay with just leaving things as they are for right now. Sick bay is ready to go. I think we only have major issues with people coming in when there's a col- Oh, shit. So one more colony ship in right there, and it looks like it dropped off another biologist. Let me go to my list right now. We've got 15 people. we got six workers, and I've only got three fabs plus mines. How many people are in the mine right now? Two people in the mine, so three fabs. So I've got six workers, which means I have one excess worker who is doing something or carrying things or- working his way around somewhere. I'm not really sure where the other worker's at. He's around somewhere. Oh, that one's injured too. So I wonder if injuries are disabled for a while until you get your, like, until you get to the point where the game dictates that you should have a sick bay. I wonder if that's the case. Either way, I'm going to break it off right here and prioritize what I want to do with the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for the next episode of Planet Base. I will see you all later. I do, everybody. Check the game out on Steam. Make sure you wishlist it. This is actually a pretty solid title. Pretty solid title. I will see you there.